Hello and welcome. Um, this movie will sh demonstrate the Chrome app. Uh, it's a new software written for the multi tool. The multi tool is a little blue box uh, with the USB on one side and XFP and SFP Plus on, uh, on the front side where you can recode, retune, do OTDR and do power reading with. Um, there are three types of software where you can use it with. One is of course our Android app. Just go to your Android phone then the Play Store, uh, type in uh, Solid Optics and you will see this. You can also use it with the Firefox and a Java plugin and we're currently facing out that software. Has to do with the fact that it's not really supported anymore and we are rechanging or rewriting all the software to Chrome app. For this you need of course Chrome. Uh, if you go to mft.solid-optics.com you can see this banner here. Uh, click on the button here and it will take you to the Chrome web store and to the software MFT for Chrome. You can add this easily to your Chrome app and you will see a button here to apps but it's also really easy just type in go to the window button type in Chrome and you can see here the MFT for Chrome and this will start up the software I will just log in and it is still a beta version of course i will just read in one optic and uh, this optic is coded for cisco i can easily code it for example to brocade right now uh, you can see there's a progress bar of uh, how far it is writing all the memory pages on the, the transceiver and uh, if you're ready it says it's uh, ready so you can just easily click on escape read the optic in again and then you should see this is brocade another example that I will give you is with the tunable I'll, I have a tuning, just go to the tuning menu, click on read and uh, this will read my tunable optic that I have uh, and I can easily uh, set this to, for example to channel 60 there are a couple of small visualization bugs that we're still working on uh, and that's why I have to read it in twice right now but I'll show you that to you in a bit. I hope in the next version that will be fixed but once again it is a beta so uh, we are hoping that you can give us some feedback also on how to improve uh, the software uh, that will help us out uh, a lot. And if I click on uh, escape now and then read, it will read the optic and you should be able to see channel 18. But if I read it once again here, uh, it should read as channel 60 as you can see here. That's the thing that we're still fixing. Thanks for your attention and uh, please send us uh, all the feedback you can.